Morning guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video on the Fiat 500 above. Hopefully in today's video we're going to get this painted. <laughs> Uh, the weather's been a bit grim down here. It's been very, very cold. All my water's frozen. Um, I can't sweep out and jet wash the floor like I normally do. And I'm not interested in rushing this for the sake of getting it done uh, and getting loads of toot in the paint. I would still like it to come out as clean as it can do. Uh, but yeah, yesterday afternoon, my mate had water in his workshop. It had thawed out thawed out a bit at the other end of the yard so he's not down here yet but i'm hoping that his one's still working mine's froze solid i've got no water at all uh, and i thought about it yesterday uh, i might get away with filling a few buckets of water up from his tap uh coming down here and sweeping all the floor out and washing the you know cleaning it normally i jet wash the floor out and clean everything down before we paint um so yeah I've been plodding along, we're quite close, um, I've prepped the door, had a couple of pingings in it, I've sorted that out, uh, the quarter's done, the pillar's done, uh, the wings are done, I've just got to go around the edges on my wings, I've got wing mirror cover there to sort out, and the brand new bumper down there, we're going to unwrap that, uh, sand that down a bit, get that ready for some plastic primer and uh, a bit of wet and wet. Uh, oral as my American followers call it sealer so we're going to put some wet and wet down on the quarter and the door and on the wings um, and then once that's flashed off then we can start painting it so I need to tidy up this because it's an absolute uh, I won't say that word on camera <laughs> um, yeah so what I'm going to do I'm going to plod along we get all these other bits primed up and sorted, uh, primed up, sanded, sorry, and sorted and ready. We'll start masking it up, get it all ready, and then hopefully, if we can go and pinch a bit of water when he turns up, uh, I'll grab a few buckets of water, I'll sweep out, wash the floor down the best we can, and if I think it's going to be clean enough, then we'll give it a go. I'm not, uh, like I said, I'm not interested in rushing. Uh, it don't bother me whether it gets done today, tomorrow, Monday, whatever. We've got uh, warmer temperatures coming on Monday. But I thought I'd uh, film what I'm doing today and get you guys another video, a bit more content. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to crack on, sand all these edges, uh, get this bumper unwrapped and stuff like that. We'll get all the last final bits of prep done. We'll move on to the masking and we'll go from there. See you in a bit.
history blaring. I had to turn that down, YouTube don't like it. But right, as you just saw there, that's the bumper all rubbed down. Uh, what I've done on the lip there, the bright green tape is called fine line tape. So on a standard bumper, you've got the standard black plastic bit here. But that edge is a nightmare to tape up. So you don't get paint on this black bit that stays black. So I've masked up to it, left a gap, and that's six mil fine line tape. Um, down there and down there. So that's painted, this is not painted. And then we've bagged that bit off there. It's, uh, it's nothing special. It's only, I think this fine line tape's a cheapo one that I had. Uh, yeah, fast mover. So just a cheapo one. I don't use fine line loads and loads and loads. Um, so I just picked it up, it was in the cupboard. I've been in there for ages. Uh, right, wings are done. And that one's done. That's all the packaging from the bumper, crazy. So I've got to tidy that up. Uh, and then we just got to get to masking this off. Uh, and pretty much we're there when that's masked up. Other than a big clean down and get everything out and tidy up and try and uh, clean, clean, clean. And hopefully we'll be able to uh, get some painting done. It's lovely and warm out there today. Um, and I believe tomorrow onwards it's getting warmer. We're minus one at the minute, which is uh, lovely. A lot better than minus four. <laughs> so yeah, we're getting there. I can get a constant 18 degrees in here with my heater on now, which is good. Uh, well, plenty good enough to paint uh, for me. So yeah, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to uh, get this masked up, bagged up, and then we can start tidying up. So yeah, see you in a bit. I forgot to say um, what I've done with the wings and the panels. Um, they got sanded down 320, uh, 400. And the same with the uh, quarter and this door and that bumper. I sanded them down with 320 on a soft pad and 400 on a soft pad with the DA. Uh, like I showed in the time lapse, the edges got 320 and a 500 soft pad. Um, loads of people ask me what soft pads I use actually. Uh, these are the Merca Gold Flex. Uh, I used a mix between them and the Sia ones. Uh, they're really good. They're like a foam backed, fine sort of sandpaper. Um, they're the equivalent, just different brands them too. Uh, I got shot down by the Facebook police uh, <laughs> on one of my videos. Uh, I think it was um, preparing a new wing. I done a transit wing. Uh, and people were going going crazy because I finished it up to 800 and then went on wet primed it over it. Um, they reckon you don't need to do up to 800, which is fine. Um, like most of you know, I'm self-taught. Uh, no one, you know, no one's taught me how to do this. I always finish up to 800 on all of my stuff that I'm going to paint. And technically, wet on wet primer, you treat like paint, if that makes sense to any of you. Uh, so I always finish to an eight, but I'm going to try their uh, their way. Uh, finish it on 400 wet and wet primer and then paint on top of the wet and wet primer uh, Yeah, I'm not too uh, I ain't too proud to try other things. It is what it is uh, If other people have got a better way of doing it, then we'll give it a go um, So yeah, all these bits are getting wet and wet primer. So I finished them on 400 We'll go from there and try that if it means that I can work faster and more efficiently. I'll try it It's always worth trying new stuff uh, and never be too ashamed to I wouldn't say admit that I was doing it wrong because I weren't doing it wrong there ain't a wrong way to do it uh, 800 is plenty good it's good enough to paint over and loads of people do uh, so it's good enough to put wet and wet primer on so there's no kind of argument there but I'm going to try I'm going to try their way um, I've got nothing to lose um, hopefully there won't be no sandy scratches and it's a white which covers a lot uh, if it was something else, like a silver, then I'd be a bit more worried to try this for the first time. But it's something new, something different, and it could be a more efficient way of doing it, so we're trying it today. So yeah, I thought I'd let you know what I've done, because loads of you asked me. Uh, that's it really, so let's crack on, I'll see you in a bit.
Here we go guys, all bagged up, masked up, ready to go. Uh, just got to pull my little tool trolley out. Uh, I've had a little sweep up. I've um, gone up to my mates and his tap's frozen again. <laughs> I uh, just found out, well, obviously it was minus one earlier, but I've just found out. There we go. It's minus three again, but they're saying the wind chill factor is like minus seven. So if I was to put my vents in, put my extraction fan on, it's just going to draw that wind in and it's going to be absolute savage in here. So that, and I can't get no water at the moment, sort of concludes today for me. It's not worth uh, trying to risk it. I say risk it. I know it sounds stupid for you that don't paint, you don't understand, but normal painters in a proper booth, got the ideal conditions and everything sterile, it's all fine, it's no problem. But when you're trying to paint on an old farm uh, in, a, <laughs> in a workshop that's as bad as mine, um, it's very difficult to, to get the finishes that I get um, unless you follow all these steps. I know it sounds crazy, but... Uh, Cleanliness is key, um, and if you can keep it as clean as possible, then your jobs come out cleaner. So, like I said earlier, it's not worth me rushing, it's not worth me risking it. Uh, you've got plenty of uh, footage on this video anyway, so I may as well wait. Uh, it's supposed to be warming up tomorrow and Monday, it's Saturday today. So, uh, yeah, we'll just call it that for today. So, uh, yeah. A bit of boring prep and masking. Um, some of you I know will enjoy it, and uh, that's the whole point of the video. Uh, some of you might not like it, but hey ho, it is what it is. Um, so yeah, I think that's that's the plan. We're just waiting on a bit of water, a bit of a clean down, and we'll start painting it. I'll uh, I'll try and record that as soon as I get to it. Uh, hopefully tomorrow, we'll sort of uh, we'll see how it goes. But yeah, one of them things, as always, massive thanks for watching. And uh, if you're new to the channel and you're not subscribed, loads of you watch that are not subscribed, uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, we'll see you all very soon on the next one. Stay safe and be lucky.